morning everyone it's jasmine welcome back to my youtube channel today is a beautiful morning it's not raining it's not snowing it's just it's a little cloudy a little gloomy but it's not so bad it is the winter time so what do you expect this is my first what i eat in a day video um i'm home all day today I just quit my job last week on Thursday because my boss was so, so toxic. I'll probably do a story time. And I'm just home, I'm gonna do some online work and I wanna incorporate more um, eating videos and cooking videos because one of my biggest loves in life is to cook. I love to cook, I love being vegan and exploring just different recipes and trying out new things and making them healthy and taste really, really good. I'm big on flavor, so I really love my diet, my lifestyle, my way of life, and I'm actually gonna try a new recipe today for lunch. But this morning I'm gonna stick to the regular, which is, um, it's either a smoothie or oatmeal so I'm gonna do oatmeal and let me know if you guys like these type of videos and let me know how I do in the comments below all right so here we are in my kitchen this is the highest I can get the camera because I don't have a stand or I don't have like a small tripod so this is the best I can do right now I have all my things to make my oatmeal with and I don't use this recipe all the time I, I sometimes switch out the nut butter sometimes I don't add fruit sometimes I add um, vegan chocolate chips sometimes I add cranberries and everything but I'm gonna try to be I'm trying to be really really healthy for the next 15 days because I'm doing a kidney tea cleanse I'll screenshot the cleanse the recipe the directions everything if you guys want to join me because it's super super important to cleanse your organs especially your liver and your and your kidneys I've already done liver cleanses in the past but now I'm moving on to my kidneys and I'll probably do um, a separate kidney cleanse experience and my thoughts on it. I'm not eating any artificial sugars. I'm not eating anything with preservatives in them. I'm not eating anything with colors in them. I'm not eating any junk food. I'm just gonna try, try to stick with like real natural foods and ingredients. Because I'm home and I'm not rushing to get to work, usually I would microwave all the ingredients and microwave my food but because I'm home and the microwave is something that is also really harmful, I'm gonna try to do everything and heat everything up on the stove. The key to making this oatmeal amazing is that you have to cook the oatmeal in water and not milk. So you have to cook it in water so it can soak up all that water and, the, and then right when it's finished, you put milk after and it makes it super creamy and super amazing. Oatmeal, like, expand so much so you put like a cup and that's way too much i usually just take like a handful which is like a fourth of a cup that's all i need to fill me up There you have it, a beautiful little bowl of oatmeal, creamy, delicious, flavorful oatmeal. I used organic blueberries and strawberries. Um, some of the ingredients I use are organic, some aren't. It just depends on what I can afford and what I'm buying that week or that month. I substituted peanut butter. I usually, I love peanut butter. I am obsessed, obsessed with peanut butter, but because peanuts are not even a nut, they're like a fungus or something, even if it's natural, it's still kind of hard for the body to digest. So. It's lunch time, and now we're gonna be making some lunch. So it's a little bit late, it's 2.30. I usually like to eat my lunch by one, but because I ate breakfast like at 10 o'clock, I kind of backtracked everything. We're gonna make the healthy mac and cheese. These are the ingredients I'm gonna make healthy 
cheese sauce with potatoes and carrots and you think it won't taste like cheese but it actually really does and we're gonna season it up with onion and lemon and garlic and some salt and everything and I'm gonna have steamed broccoli on the side and then I have soaked cashews in here to make the sauce extra creamy and then we're gonna do healthy healthy pasta healthy elbow pasta it's gluten-free it's made of corn brown rice and quinoa so that's gonna be yummy right now I'm gonna cut up my potatoes and carrots and boil them and then I have this for the broccoli to go in and steam and then this is where the pasta is gonna boil so I'm gonna just prep everything and boil everything and then we'll be back to assemble it and So I'm almost done with the mac and cheese. I doubled the potatoes and carrots and, and the other ingredients, but honestly I shouldn't have because it made so much sauce so I have extra sauce in the fridge and I guess I'll use it for other things. The xanthan gum really made it thick and like gooey, which is amazing and the nutritional yeast gives it that really cheesy flavor and then the garlic and onion just give a good flavor as well and okay here's the finished product and I was right it needed way more salt and I added a little bit of paprika and it tastes so freaking good really savory really gooey really amazing and I topped it with some hemp seeds but if I was being fat and if I was being if I was being a little bit more naughty and not being extra healthy I would do vegan parm on top and I would also do vegan cheese on the inside and make it extra vegan cheesy -y -y. If you know what I mean but this is bomb and it's healthy so it is the end of the video almost it is nighttime and I'm about to eat dinner don't mind this I just came back from the gym I actually went to the gym earlier than I usually do so that's why I didn't eat before the gym and now I'm eating after the gym it's 8 30 and that's kind of late like I said before I don't like eating late but I also hate eating on a full stomach or I hate working out on a full stomach so one thing had to go I'm frying up some bean patties and olive oil usually for dinner I like to make a salad wow the camera's really heavy I like to be healthy and get my greens in and I usually buy organic spring mix like what is over there I usually make hummus about once a week or you know every other week i love making homemade hummus hummus is one of my favorite dishes to make and i followed this recipe and i'll link the recipe down below i'm gonna have some of these harvest snaps they're green pea snack crisp they're healthier than tortillas they have less ingredients i feel like and then the bean patties i don't do this all the time um, but sometimes if I'm feeling like I just want an extra like protein in my dish for dinner, um, I'll try to make falafel. The thing is also that you, I do have to use a lot of oil when I make falafels. They soak up the oil so much. Bean patties don't soak up the oils too much. So I just blended some canned black beans and tomatoes. I put seasoning in the mixture. I put flour and I put green onions and lemon and then I covered them with these this panko bread crumbs they're actually really really good and that's gonna be like extra protein extra protein with my hummus and yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna show you the end result once I assemble everything and thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing and for everything showing your support i hope this video helped you guys let me know if you you like this video and if this video helped you guys out <sighs> All right. this is the finished result my bean patties hummus spring mix tomatoes bell pepper drizzled some apple cider vinegar on top and hemp seeds and my snack peas yum